we're Victor and Joanna. Since you've known us, we've quit our jobs and spent a summer building a floating coffee shop. We're off. Then we took our fleet of two narrow boats and a canoe and went around trying our hand at being boaters, it's freezing, bakers, action stations, <laughs> baristas, <laughs> and more recently, parents. Meet our baby boy, William. Join us now as we find our feet as a family of three and begin looking forward to our next adventure. Good morning. Morning. Morning, William. anything for you? I have. We've had uh, a couple of change of plans uh, since we've been here. We'll tell you a little bit more about them later but first things first what it involves I've got to go and pick up a parcel. Uh, we went in to receive it but luckily around here we've got some good neighbours. Come on board me. Oh. Oh, Cheers very much for this. It's all right. Around here, really, it's you guys that don't have the cafe boat in it. <laughs> yeah, we, we serve more coffee, <laughs> but it's the right price. It's free. <laughs> oh, cheers very much. You're, you're with us, too. Is it heavy? Oh, it's quite heavy. <laughs> <laughs> I've ordered the right thing then this is a Wabasto basically it's a diesel heater so it burns diesel to heat up water it just means that then we, we can have hot water sort of on demand on the cafe so this will make life easier for us it's nice to be back on Holly again we haven't really spent much time on Holly recently it's a bit of a mess but that's this winter's job is to spruce this place right up and um, get them ready for another Sorry, got distracted then. I couldn't catch it, but uh, that horse just did a poo right outside the boat. <laughs> and that's the worst review we've had yet. Might leave it at that for today. But at least I got it out of the box. That's one thing, a bit daunted by that task. Not gonna lie to you. Nappy changing time. His favorite time of the day. <laughs> <laughs> Joe's off on her first solo voyage. Yeah. Yeah. Well, with William into town, eh? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to go on a little trip into town. Might not make it there, but hey. Are you looking forward to it, William? He's so depressed about this, so it's good. <laughs> okay, wish me luck. Good luck. Actually, very daunting being out on my own with him. I haven't done it before, but he seems happy enough. This will be his first time on a bus. You. That's the first step of the journey complete. Look how rosy cheeked I am. It's not even warm. It's really cold. I've just got the sweats. I read in a book that I was reading about like um, pregnancy and motherhood and stuff. She called it the mum sweats. And I feel like I've been in a constant mum sweat. I don't even know what temperature it is any other time because I'm just like stressing and sweating. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers. Have a lovely day. You too, thank you. 
success, or half success. Did run out of steak, but I decided to go for sausage roll. He doesn't look impressed, does he? <laughs> you just get chatting, don't you? All right, let's get this sausage roll before, before Vic catches us. Mm. That's good. I'm less sweaty now. We made it. <laughs> How was your trip? It was alright. It was when I got on the bus, I was like, now there's no returning. And then you forget you're like 15 minutes away. Like, I don't even know if the bus makes any difference to the time, but I was like, well, now we're gone. Now we're far, <laughs> far away. Oh, well, well done. It's quite a milestone, isn't it? Yeah. Right, we'll get him in. Let's get lunch on the go. What's cooking? Little cheese and kimchi toasty. Here's some he made earlier. William, we're trying to get a <laughs> we're trying to get a sizzling sound here. We? <laughs> Just because you've had your lunch. What did you have for lunch? <laughs> One day all of this will be yours soon. He's not really interested in that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're walking now down another little bit of canal that is very it's very close to the area wash, but it's called the Cranfleet Cut. And it's sort of a cutting of canal that bypasses the like a big weir on the River Trent and that heads into Nottingham. But it's a really nice little stretch. Oh, is there any more quintessential a canal side scene? <laughs> <laughs> what we're quickly learning is that everything takes absolutely ages <laughs> um, to, to do anything. I feel like we've been inside for the best part of well, three weeks, and suddenly when we came out, the seasons have changed, like everything looks really different. We've come out to a whole new world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My uh, last job of the day is to go and take some diesel down to Holly. I'm going to fill Holly's diesel tank. I'm a little bit late in the season for doing this job but usually it's good to uh, keep the tanks full to avoid any condensation forming and then you've got water in the diesel which is a bit of a bummer. So I'm going up there now we're gonna top her up a little bit. to get some diesel. Okay. Bye. This is what domestic life is now. Vic's gone to get diesel and I'm gonna try and do some bits around here if William will have a little snooze. It's not far away, Holly. It's only, uh, she's only moored a little further up here, but what journey isn't made a little bit easier, a little bit better? if made by canoe, I ask you. These are these uh, just kind of like winter prep things that really we're a little bit late getting on with, but um, having a baby turns out to be a little bit of a distraction. So we're only just now getting around to doing things like this. I should really be sort of running Holly's engine a bit more regularly to kind of keep it in good condition and stuff like that. But anyway, there's quite a lot of stuff that we want to do and correct and sort of fix on Holly after having spent last year as its kind of first season, or like or this year really, as uh, the first season out trading on her. She performed magnificently, but there's things we could do to help her out. There she blows. And he is asleep. So I'm going to bob around and do some chores while I can. William. Oh. And he's back awake. Now 
he looks like he's going to sleep again. Right at the top. Look at that. Full to the brim. <laughs> Your boat has a leak. <laughs> Don't know if you can see, but that's a leak. So the trouble with these dark evenings, it's probably only five o'clock, it's a little bit too dark to film. But uh, the good thing about it is uh, we've got good neighbours. Dave's brought us a coffee. Paul's just put a leak on the boat. Well, it must have been crazy out there because the lens has got all like misted up. Yeah, really cold. probably all got condensation in. Eh? You'd have been proud of me. I did some, did some proper little setup shots with the tripod. Did you? Yeah. And so I was just pouring in the diesel like that. And then when I looked, it was absolutely like level with the brim of the filler cap. Wow. But none had spilled over or anything. Whoa. It's like to the drop full. Smile. Thank you. 